Here's a 730 Champion Grader. 17.5 R25s. Looks like a nice grader there. Of course, it needs a paint job, but when you get on, this is a snow plowing machine. The tires are getting down a bit, but they'll still run. Like, I'd, still, I'd run them a few years. It's got the wing on it. And that's why the paint is bad because, of course, running through the salt, salt at the Beale's wing, a Weldco Beale's wing. So there you go, There's and the doors are up front, so there you go, nice grader. Here's a John Deere number 95 combine. The pickup header on it. Pickup belts are brand new on it, so somebody's been using it. So we got a few acres to combine. This might be for you. Oh, it got a new tire on the front. There you go. Nice combine actually. It's been it's I think it's been shattered anyways. Here's a new Holland TR-86 with a pickup header on again. I, I'm not going to go right through them. Don't have time for that. So there you go. Here's a set of, this has transport that. Here's a set of triple 620 drills with uh, grass seeders on them, with the, heat, with the grass seeding attachments on them. There's 30 foot of drill right there. The first time I've seen triples at an auction sale for a while, it's common, more common to have two, two 14s and three, three 10s. So there you go, I checked the inside, the Seed, seed sides fine, but the fertilizer attachment was buggered on the middle one. I didn't check the other gang, so there you go. Here's a little sawmill, a band mill, Range Road. So there you go. Here's a TR85 new hound. It looks like it's got brand new front tires on it. There again is a pickup header. So there you go, nice, nice combine. Here's a, another TR85 with brand new rubber on it. 28L26 tires, the tires are worth something. These have a 3208 cat in them. Here's a John Deere 8820 with a pickup header once again. So there you go. There's a Michigan Loader 125C. Tires are smaller, but it's a huge machine. This is as big as a 980, I think. Ooh, it's got a V8 seven or V671, sorry, 6V71, I should say. Oh, why we went to V6 rather than this, an inline 6 with a 6, a 6V71. There you go, there's a loader for you. Here's a plow, an Oliver plow, five bottom. Oliver plows have the throwaway shears on them. Newer plow with rubber, I think it's 514s. So there you go, nice, nice plow. Here's a 6200 drill. Looks like it's, it, it looks really nice. It's, this drill's like new. Well kept. Always kept inside by the look of it. This looks like a really good one. Look how clean they kept the inside nice and clean. Fertilizer attachment has a mouse nest in it but it might be okay too. 
cogwheels don't look broken or anything. So there you go. There's a uh, there's a 6200 for it. Real good one too. Here's an old Dodge car. I don't know what year, late 50s, early 60s, maybe it's a restoration project. 39,313 miles on it. Seats are out of it and stuff. It needs work, it needs TLC, but somebody started to restore it. Need the tail lights may come with it, I don't know. I don't know what year this is, 19, late, night, late 50s, early 60s, late 50s, I'm thinking. So there you go. There's a Dodge car for you. The founding mill of Viking. Number two. Ah, there's some binder twine too. Look at that. Number two E-Viking. These are good little fanning mill. So there you go. Mm, a grill nose piece for a cock shot 50 and it looks like a really good one too. Nice cool Pepsi freezer or fridge. Yes, it's a fridge not a freezer, but it's a Pepsi it, it's Pepsi, it's cool. It's got a bottle opener, so this is a few years back, no doubt. Another little fanning mill. This one doesn't have the rollers, but... Standard mill, standard fanning mill com company, Miss Mi Minneapolis, Minnesota. It needs a restoration, but it's a fanning mill. Here's a new Holland Dale wagon. A big wheel rake, like that's... What, nine, eight wheels, nine wheels? And here's a John Deere 3200 six bottom plow. Got automatic trips. This is the, uh, the John Deere's equivalent to the IH770 plow. The good quilters on it. Yeah, this, is, this plow is in good shape. This is a really good plow. It's last bottom. No, it's not. This is a good plow. You just put a bolt there, and it stuck, protruded, and it just made it wear funny, that's all. But it, this is a good plow. This is a very good plow. So if you want a six bottom plow, this could be for you. Real nice looking John Deere 530 baler. For round balers, I think John Deere's are about the best. Yes, this is coming from an international man, and I still think John Deere Baylors are the best for round Baylors. It looks very, looks very nice. If I was in the market for a Baylor, I'd seriously consider this one. And uh, rubber tires, an IH one by the look of it. Yeah, so we sweep. So throw away shears, I mean. The, I don't not sure if this is IH or no, I'll have to I actually thought it was, but I don't think it is actually now come to look at it, I don't think this is in in the international plow. The four bottom plow is some description anyways. There you go. Uh, it mounts on the front of a tractor. Here's some mounted arrows, allies, some plows. This was some, uh, just an, a lawn ornament, this one, but here's a braking plow and here's a two bottom plow. So there you go. This thing is, is it's for uh, offsetting an implement. A PTO drive implement such as a gyromore off a tractor for cutting slopes on road and stuff like that. So that's what this is for. It's a, a sidearm. 
Here's a 620 drill with the front wheels off, so it's a part drill. Here's a little scraper, just a tiny little guy. New Holland side de delivery rake. It looks like a CCIL or case chisel, I think it's case chisel plow or deep tillage cultivator. Here's somebody built a bundle wagon out of a truck frame. Look at that. There you go. Here's a John Deere shit spreader. It's an older one, 145 bushel. Actually, it's wooden all the way around. The wood looks actually decent on it. So there you go, nice manure spreader. Here's an IH manure spreader. This one needs some TLC though. The John Deere, the old wooden one's actually in better shape than this one. But it's a manure spreader. At least I think this is, no, it's not IH. It's uh, something else. But there you go. Here's a Vermeer baler, a real nice one too. It's an old baler. It's got belts with it. Looks like new belts with it. Looks like a real nice one. It's an old baler, but you can tell when they're taken care of, and this baler was taken care of. Here's another TR85 New Holland. They must have had a good New Holland dealer here or something because they had, there's a lot of New Holland stuff here. So there you go. Here's a John Deere 336 square baler. Tell by their flywheel on the side. There you go, there's a baler for you. An old gen set with a Waukesha gas engine on it. There you go, probably LP actually, or natural gas, so there you go. Here's a 4400 versatile swather, and there's the tractor we previewed. This is, this is a nice heavy disc, it looks like an easy on. I think it's an easy on. Here's a swather roller. Here's a land roller with somebody made a cor corrugated pipe. Here's a 400 versatile swather. Looks good. Here's a straight cut header for one of the New Holland combines that's here, I betcha. Here's a New Holland 499 haybine. Another John Deere 3. John Deere 348 square baler. Here's a New Holland. Here's what's interesting to me is this uh, sickle mower New Holland and it's a nine footer. A trailing type nine foot mower and a nine foot mower is a good thing. You to get more done in a day and quite a bit more over seven foot. So there you go. Here's a little, ch here's a little deep tillage cultivator. About an eight or nine shanker. This looks like a John Deere disc of some description, about maybe 16, 18 foot. Bottom plow of some description. Here's a breaking plow. Single bottom breaking plow. And here's a John Deere one-way tiller. A small one, but it's a John Deere one-way. So there you go.